and welcome back to Bloodborne. Uh, Hunter's Dream. Yes, the Hunter's Dream, that's where we are. But wait where's, a minute. Where's the doll? The doll's awake. That oh, is wait. the doll. I thought that was a priest. I nope. am a doll. She is a doll here in this here dream, in this dream to, to look after, after us. You. She's basically our uh, our level up lady. Honorable hunter. Yeah. Pursue the echoes of blood. Um She's one of my favorite she characters. I will channel us. them into your Well, I mean, she kind of is. Oh. She does proclaim at one point that she loves you us. Will hunt beasts, but and more I in the way of... I, I, it's supposed to be implied that it's more in the way a child loves a parent. Spirit. Because uh, she's a doll. Humans made her. Farewell, uh. mate. Oh, and I accidentally get through her leaving dialogue. God damn it, Paul. Yeah. But here's being purchasing I, I know the thing has got to go fast, but come on. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Here's me purchasing the uh, trademark Bloodborne set. And it looks amazing. From here, I could sell off my old armor because it's worthless now. Riley, have any thoughts about Bloodborne? No, you're not allowed to sleep on my laptop. On my keyboard again. Hmm. Do, do I want to buy it? Ah, not yet. I will buy that weapon eventually, but not right now. Yeah, the because... white. Very well. Let me... No, she's just like made a porcelain. The red and the red right under her. Yep, she's how we level up. Well, we use blood mate. echoes to essentially channel them into our body and level them up. I also just got a bunch of co-op items. This was once a safe uh, But let's hunters. talk to Garmin. He explains a, a bit more about the dream. Where hunters used blood to enhance their weapons. Creatures moving in the background. Don't have as many tools Kill as it's, just, steed, it's just dust and like flies. You're welcome to use whatever you find. Huh, I, uh, that's giving me vibes like it's those Should weird be. white creatures from earlier. Uh, creepy, dude. Alright. <laughs> uh, that wasn't the least bit creepy. Yeah, there you go, lowbrow. Just stare into the camera. Mm, yes. Jim Halpert moment. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> okay, now that makes me think since he's called Lowbrow, we all have to do a staring into the camera thing. <laughs> <laughs> the just stares. We all have to do the Jim Halbert thing. Yeah. That explain the joke is ruining it. Well, I think that's the only time I like do express like I do a jib moment where I stare into the camera because a lot of this game doesn't actually phase me. I think as I've gotten older, um, a lot of like blood and gore kind of upsets my stomach and everything. But Bloodborne is one of those few games where I can look at everything and not really be phased by it. Like, for 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 reference, I used to be able to not watch. Uh, or, no, I actually still can't. I couldn't get through the first episode of Invincible hmm. because of the ending of it. Um, and I haven't picked up that show since. But Bloodborne just is different. I guess because the gore isn't as intense. I mean, it's a lot of blood, but yeah. blood's blood. Versus, like, actively showing injuries and whatnot. But yeah, it's just one of those games where I can't really, I don't really uh, feel anything. Well, I, I don't want to say feel anything, I just don't react as much physically. That's alright. This game is technically a horror game though, so I do end up getting spooked a couple of times. <laughs> this game is a horror RPG. And it loves leading into that. Horror is. Uh, yeah, that's the real thing. <laughs> ah, the most annoying enemy in the game. Dogs. The most annoying enemy in every Souls game. In every video game, that's the real thing. Yeah, 
and the cages, they not only can't hurt me, but they get one shot. Mm. Which is... They're not always in cages, unfortunately. Also another annoying enemy that I can't cross. Hmm. Yeah, more of that got cut out. We saw some last part. Uh, that sucks. You were saying you hate uh, crows, yeah. though? Yeah, crows are freaking massive and they just hound you. Yeah, probably. They are everywhere. Yeah, it looked like the... I think it was the ogres. No, he was just surrounded by them. Ah. But speaking of crows, here's one of the other friendly faces we can meet. Hunter, this is Eileen. Father. And an outsider. Crow mother. Oh. What a mess she is what is called a crow hunter. Basically, she hunts other hunters night. who have gone insane. Hmm. Yeah. Since... Routinely slaughtering people doesn't exactly leave you all right in the head. Nah. But she gave me, nah. she gave me a there really no sick item called the Bolt left. Hunter's Mark, which allows me to there essentially no respawn without losing anything. Now. That's good. In Bloodborne, Still dying means back. losing your currency, so you don't yeah, want to die. A hunter. Since he that, since grinding beats. up currency can be a lot sometimes. <laughs> Yeah. No matter. And if you no, die again, you can't get that currency back. That is correct. Sounds like. Sounds so like you Simon. know a little bit about souls. It sounds like Simon's oh, yeah. class when you put it that way. What are you? Well, a hunter? both games are technically Metroidvanias. Uh, right. the Dark Souls franchise is just a 3D take on the Metroidvania genre. Yeah. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. I don't, I'm not saying that for you guys, I'm saying that for any commenters who are like, uh, Dark Souls isn't a Metroidvania, search your feelings, you know it to be true. It's pretty non-linear. Yeah, it's very non- Shit, you've cut out for me. Uh, most of the time it's just spent figuring out where you're supposed to go. Uh, oh, here's a new enemy. The, uh, Lycan. Or Wolfman. And there goes the loot, a new enemy. Yeah, and there, right and there he goes. Him. Those things duck, which is why I try and kill them as quick as possible. Oh, the dick trying to take pot shots at me? Yes. Not the only one with the gun. <laughs> Apparently not, and his hurts a lot more than mine does. Well, that sucks. Maybe you should, you know, get a better gun like his. You can actually get better guns. I just don't. Um, because I'm not focusing very much on my guns for this, a lot of the guns I happen to pick up, which, spoilers, I don't think is any, unless I actively go back and get them as a record. Um, a lot of them just aren't worth it for me. So they end up being spare currency. Like, you can get a cannon at one point, and if you can land a shot, it obliterates most bosses. But you have to not only get strength to the level to use it, but your blood tinge has to be super high. Because that's how your bullets increase in damage. There's also another gun called the Evelyn, which you get from an optional area, which is a lot like those muskets that the snipers, that the civilians use. But I don't go to the optional area, which is a shame because it's one of the better areas in the game. I just didn't have time for it in recording. I mean, I you guess I could. Have DLC. Yeah. It showed off then. I, I actually, I, I really could. It wouldn't take that much um, time. The problem is, it would just kind of be a waste of time. Like, I'd be showing off the boss of the area, and that's about it, since the weapons wouldn't be applicable. A lot of the uh, weapons are, they are based on your 
the blood tinge in your skill. I just spin to win through all these zombies. Stand away, stand away. Yeah, playing Crash Bandicoot. Going down a hallway. Oh, what's that down there? That's a death. That's a weird shape. It's an oddly swinular shadow. Let's check it out. I'm sure it's nothing. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Is it like a bear? What is that? A pig. It's a pig! I was trying to get it, I was trying to uh, get it to chase after me. Because if you get it out far enough, you can go for a backstab where you shove your fist up a pig's rectum. <laughs> it's called pig fisting. It's real bad. No. We're in this day and age, I unfortunately believe in myself more than I believe in you. Stop. Stop. Nope. That bark. That bark. Oh, yeah. Uh, Souls games ragdoll physics are hilarious because sometimes enemies will just get stuck on you. You can drag them everywhere. Uh, I just picked up a badge which allows me to. Uh, purchase this weapon. What does it allow you to do? So, the threaded cane, it allows me to purchase weapons. Ah, I gotcha. Yeah, you were cutting out again, so... Ugh, God. Hey, fix your internet. <laughs> I'm moving in a couple oh, months, good. so hopefully it'll be better. I mean, it's the same provider, but maybe location will be better. Better area. Yeah. yeah. Um... I'm open to move in a few months as well. I'm not. But anyway, uh... Yeah, the Saw Hunter badge lets me buy the threaded cane and the saw cleaver. Which are the other two starting weapons, as well as I think the blunderbuss. Hmm. Which is the pistol that I didn't pick up. I was hoping it was an actual bus. No. I don't know why I'm going down right now, because the boss was just up ahead. I must be exploring. Grinding even more. No, in this case, just exploring. Because as much as I speed through this playthrough, I do genuinely love exploring Bloodborne. Combing each area top to bottom. It's a pretty interesting world so far. It is an incredibly interesting world. Oh, I know what I'm doing. I think. Yeah, I'm unlocking the shortcut. In case I die. Which I don't, but... You know. Safety just in case. reasons. Yeah, safety reasons. There is... Uh, I missed something, actually. There is a certain side quest you can start. Which involves the next boss in the area. You talk to this little girl in a window, and she says basically that her mom and dad have gone missing. Um, her dad went out, hasn't come home, so her mom went out to go find him, and now neither of them are coming back. So she gives you a music box that says um, it helps calm dad down. <laughs> Place your bets, folks. <laughs> ah, thank you, dad. The young man in the whatever it is with the pistol is gonna go down in flames. No, actually. <laughs> Wrong answer. And that's why I'm not a betting girl. <laughs> nope. Anyway, next you're about to find out what happened to both parents in the next four minutes. <laughs> they turn into monsters and fuse together into an even more disgusting creature. Eh, not quite. Damn it. This is Father Gascoigne, and he has our he has our axe. <laughs> there can be only one. He has our axe, but we have our axe. So, is that an axe from the future or the past? No, there's it's just uh, ah. multiple copies of the same weapon. Ah. So this is the true plan of the game. We have to kill everyone who's wielding our axe. <laughs> Except just this guy. <laughs> That line was so impactful to me, 
it's been my Instagram bio for five years. I missed it. It's beasts all over the shop. You'll be one of them sooner or later. Mm. Father Gascoigne, not like a father father, but a church father. Yeah. He's one of the church's uh, executioner hunters. What's the religion? Uh, yarn and blood. Uh, he, this guy's a madman. He's basically convinced that every human he meets is going to eventually turn into a beast. And it's his job to kill beasts. So, he decides we're an actual chopper. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Less nihilism and more just pure insanity. Oh, it sucks to me. It's enough to make a man sick. Yeah, he's got a bit, uh, blood drunk, as it were. <laughs> Can't even realize the Yeah, that he's in fact gone mad himself. Stealing our spin attack. Yeah, he has he has the axe moveset. I'm trying to like farm I'm trying to farm a parry off him, but uh, I, I can never really get a read for his frame data, no matter how many times I play this game. Also doesn't help that I don't really use the axe, so I don't really know the intricacies. As much as someone who would say main the axe. It's trying. It's like trying to. It's like trying uh, Royal Guard in DMC. It's exactly like Royal it. Guard. So remember how you said he would probably turn into a beast? Yeah, well, you were right. His final phase is him becoming a beast. Monster pure. Uh, no, at this point, he's, like, fully accepted that he's... When he says, what's that smell? The sweet blood, oh, it sings to me. He's accepted that he's gone mad. And well, he's just giving me so much crap. No, I don't. I don't die until part four. But he's out here breaking Tombstones. Think of all that pizza that's going to waste. Well, I guess it's a good thing she could not Yeah. Eileen is the closest we get to Sheik. Oh, here's the epic conclusion. Fatality. He said it's kind of distorted, but he says "forgive me" as he dies. No. Fuck you. I mean, basically. We'll see you next part of it.